can have a lot of influence in our world, especially online, and many are now reaping the benefits. According to marketing firm Media Kicks, Beyonce can earn a million dollars for a sponsored social media post. That's followed by Selena Gomez at more than half a million and Kendall Jenner at up to 300,000. Gomez had eight of the top 10 most like photos on Instagram in 2016, including this ad for Coca-Cola, which has been liked more than 6.8 million times, making it the most liked post of all time. But you don't have to be a household name to be a social media influencer. Jamie Wax is here to explain. Good morning, Anthony. The influencer category is a $1 billion industry, and it's projected to grow to $2.4 billion in just two years. In some ways, this is a throwback to integrated content at the dawn of television. But as one expert told us, what's different now is who can be the pitchman and how much money they can make. With the help of a photographer and a bottle of cologne, Ryan Clark is essentially the head of a one-man ad agency. Is it difficult for you to explain to old friends, family members, what it is you do for a living? It is. It is very difficult at times. I think I go by many hats. So I can go by blogger, influencer, brand consultant. I can go by creative director. Clark is paid to post photos and curated videos on social media for brands ranging from Armani to BMW. The Texas native passed up a career as a medical doctor to become a travel and lifestyle influencer. I was three degrees in, a bachelor's in chemistry, a master's in uh, healthcare management, second master's in biomedical sciences, and completely stopped, dead set in my tracks, and was just like, I don't see myself doing this for the rest of my life. It might seem like a hobby, but running two Instagram accounts with nearly three million followers is serious business. We have a set influence over the people who follow us in that regard, that they want to aspire to do the things that we're doing or go to the places that we're going or wear the clothing that we wear. So managing engagement, managing my followers, managing my brand placement, my partnerships, all of those different things, it's a full-time job. And I wish there were two of me. I would probably make a lot more money if there were two of me. Clark is one of 17,000 influencers in the database of 4Card. Brands want to go where the eyeballs are. So James eyeballs, Nord is founder and CEO of the company that provides detailed analytics on its legion of influencers to brands and helps with marketing campaigns. Tell me about the dollars that the influencer category represents. So my like very back of the napkin if you kind of want to get a sense of what somebody's making and this is for the fashion and beauty space 100,000 followers on Instagram you probably make a hundred thousand dollars a year 200,000 followers two hundred thousand dollars three hundred and so on and so forth so people at a million followers should quite easily be able to make a million dollars a year earlier this year Forbes released a comprehensive list of the world's top influencers in the field of fitness alone, the top 10 influencers have a combined reach of 106 million followers. They calculated top YouTubers can fetch up to $300,000 for a video partnership and at least $150,000 on Instagram. How much of major corporations' marketing campaigns are now dedicated to supporting influencers? Yeah, not enough. Uh, I wish there was more, but it's it's certainly growing. You know, I've heard that it's going to be five billion dollars in the next three years. I think global digital advertising is about 150 billion, so it's it's a sizable chunk. One of those companies is Giorgio Armani. Giovanni Valentini is vice president of marketing. What has changed and what is changing very fast is technology, the access to data, and the different ways in which we can ask, access people's life. And this is where. Influencer gives a, a brand an opportunity to uh, exponentially increase the entry point uh, to engage with consumers. Can anyone be an influencer? Yes, maybe. No. Uh... <laughs> Journalist Max Chafkin would know. His first person account of becoming an Insta influencer appeared in Bloomberg Business Week. There were sort of two reactions. One was, ha ha ha, this world is so ridiculous. And then on the other side, it was like, can you uh, tell me how to get more followers? <laughs> Chafkin worked with the company Socialite. Its website says it offers influencers strategies for marketing, talent management, content creation, and media partnerships. I got a professional Instagram photographer to shoot me in various cool clothes, and they coached me on how to act. 
and I did okay. Like I added about 1,500 followers or so over the course of 30 days. So you look that's at that, bad. yeah, that sounds pretty good, except I was spending basically all of my time on this. So I think anyone can do it, but a talent is probably more important than, than anything else. But as Chafkin found out, even with influencers whose brands are based on authenticity, looks can sometimes be deceiving. Can you buy followers? Uh, yeah, the answer is, is yes, you can buy followers. And as part of my experiment, I bought 500 followers for 50 bucks or something. And very quickly, uh, Instagram uh, deleted a lot of them, but they didn't catch all of them. Fourcard says it's developed an algorithm to detect fake followers. You see he's got 82% of his following. That's, that's totally active. He has 15% lurkers and only 1.6% uh, bots. But there's also the issue of transparency. It's been estimated 93% of paid content violates FTC guidelines. So last spring, the agency sent out a letter to more than 90 influencers, urging them to prominently display that a post is an ad or sponsored content. And in June, Instagram added a paid partnership header for when a commercial relationship exists. Do you find that, that people are cautious about that? So, yes, absolutely. One of our first big deals, we were able to offer a beauty vlogger $30,000 for a video. And I was super excited to send the offer because it's like, it's kind of fun. It's a lot of money to give somebody to make a five minute YouTube video. And uh, she turned it down because the shade of foundation didn't match her skin tone. And she said, if I, if I do this video, all of my followers will go out and buy this and then I will lose their trust. And I was so impressed that you could turn down $30,000 because I would have, I mean, give me that foundation. I'll make that video today. <laughs> And James Nord says the money is more than a safe bet. Even the nearly $1 million Kim Kardashian was reportedly paid last year just to attend a party with other influencers. And you're saying that's harder and more honorable work than most people give her credit for. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's the Super Bowl. I mean, that's literally how many people watch the Super Bowl that are watching her. You got 100 million people that love this one person and take her advice and respect her advice and your brand gets to be a part of that for a million bucks, that's honestly a steal. And if you don't have three million followers, never fear, if you have the right type of follower, you could be what they call a micro-influencer or a nano-influencer even. I'm working on nano. <laughs> <laughs> aspiring to nano. Yeah, I'm aspiring to nano. Absolutely a amazing. big climb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get you there, Anthony. Everybody follow him. Yeah, follow him now, folks. That's right. <laughs> Jamie, thank you.